Since the coefficient of the z to the fourth term is 1, we can begin by putting z squared at the beginning of both binomials. Now we just need to determine which factors to use for the coefficient 100 of the y squared term. Those are all the possible factors, and we need to figure out which ones can add and subtract to 20, which there's only one pair, which is 10 and 10. And now we just need to figure out the signs. Since it's a plus, that means it's either both plus or both minus. And for the negative sign in the center, that means that they'll both have to be minus. And that's the final factored version.